everybody, Abby here, uh, coming up on the 6 p.m. hour on the 23rd of January, 2023, in the city of Cusco, Peru. I'm going to give you the quick rundown on what the news events are today and what the situation has looked like around town. Um, the situation around town here in Cusco, pretty quiet, everything very normal, um, not a lot of uh, marches going by. There were a couple that were large in size, but um, not many of them. Uh, and I think partly that's because uh, tomorrow has been called for being a uh, another day of protest and marches. And so the expectation is that uh, all of the rural communities and um, many labor unions are going to be sticking to that and making sure that they do a lot of protesting and road blocking and so forth. Roadblocks have been spotty around Cusco and the Sacred Valley. There have been roadblocks in some places and no roadblocks in other places. And so um, it's sort of a situation where you want to try and be working with professional drivers and stay in touch with them um, and let them work their networks for knowing who's doing what and where for the purposes of, um, you know, figuring out what kind of protest stuff is going on, where the routes are and so forth. Tomorrow, Tuesday, the 24th, does not look like a good day to go anywhere. Um, it just, it just does not. Um, it looks like there's going to be a whole lot of stuff shut down. Um, I guess we'll see how that looks in the city of Cusco. Uh, things are starting to get um, tense, I guess, like uh, in terms of people's differences of opinion. Um, there are people who work agricultural type jobs who are saying, well, time to make sure we keep the pressure on with all the strikes and uh, work stoppages and everything. And then there are people who work in tourism who are saying, okay, you have no idea how screwed up the economy is at this point. Like, you know, people have canceled everything through, you know, the middle of the year. And so we're out of work and there are large hotel chains and large hotels and um, a lot of that kind of stuff. And some tourist restaurants that have shut down and have um, either put everyone on leave or given them mandatory vacation or laid people off. So that's uh, financial stress for a lot of people and then folks are saying to the folks folks who work agriculture or what have you are saying to the people who work tourism look you're already out of work so you may as well be out protesting and um so it's it's tense as far as uh, opinions going around and all that kind of thing so yeah as far as things in the city of cusco things have been quiet today uh but in other cities around Peru, less so. Um, there was a major confrontation in the Arequipa region where uh, some protesters took a police officer hostage and then a priest had to negotiate a hostage exchange um, so that he was, the police officer was exchanged for some protesters who were being detained. Um, that sounds like it was uh, an exciting and not so fun uh, span of time. Uh, there's further activity in terms of uh, burning and looting in the Puno region. And uh, let's see, some more border crossing installations have been have been burned. And again, in Arequipa, the airport uh, has no date set yet for when it will open. Same for Juliaca, the airport in Puno. Um, nobody knows when that's going to open either. Uh, they say when conditions allow and repairs can be made. And uh, yeah, I guess right. So for Machu Picchu too, which only really um, recently closed entirely, um, nobody knows when that's going to open either. It could be tomorrow. It could be next week. Hard to say. Uh, looks like there was further damage at the airport in Arequipa than had been expected, and so that's dam damage to the landing lights and air traffic systems and uh, to the the um, fences, fences, yeah, walls, you know, that kind of stuff. So, so that's going on. Uh, meanwhile, the political cartoons have been getting hot and heavy and like really pointed. And uh, there was some there's some intense stuff going around in the area of political commentary. 
Uh, one of the journalists who had been reported missing was released by police in Lima. So apparently she um, was where some people knew where she was. Um, yeah, um, let's see. Uh, the Minister of the Interior told Exitosa Peru News that um, they were uh, that they had plans to purchase another hundred thousand tear, tear gas bombs, tear gas grenades, uh, to um, give to the national police and the military um, for confronting protests. Uh, so that, you know, doesn't suggest that they think they're going to be stepping down actions anytime too soon. Uh, today has been a perfectly okay day, um, relatively speaking, all things considered, to try to get from place to place. Uh, you know, outside of, like, leave Cusco and go to another town kind of thing. Um, some towns, a smaller number of towns, have still had roadblocks up in them uh and roadblocks have been off and on it sounds like in some of the key strategic points uh there will be roadblocks at bridges a lot of the time um that will be staffed and have people paying attention to them and you know on on a schedule and and that kind of thing and then there will be impromptu roadblocks where you can't uh you, you can't necessarily predict that they're going to be it could be a lot of different places. Uh, so let's see. Tomorrow, the 24th, has been called for uh, as a national day of strike and protest and marching. Uh, so the word on the street uh, is that there's going to be major roadblocks that... Uh, uh, taxis and buses will probably... Um, honor the strike and not work and there'll be a lot of that kind of stuff going on so tomorrow could be a hectic day so I didn't make my dentist appointment for tomorrow I'm hoping for Wednesday uh, big excitement there um, today out and about in Cusco everything was pretty normal I walked past Plaza Tupacamaru and uh, tents were back up uh, for the communal kitchens and for taking donations. There's still a lot of donations coming in and there are still a lot of people who are planning to head to Lima and a lot of people who are still there. And so, I mean, to be honest, right now the situation looks a lot more tense in Lima from everything I can tell than it actually looks here in the city of Cusco. And then for the most part in terms of uh, going places, um, hard to say where things are going to go exactly, uh, but I didn't want to take a day of not giving anybody any updates. Um, you know, hopefully we'll reach a point where there won't be anything to update about at all, uh, where it, <laughs> where an uneventful news day isn't the one where they've talked about other news that doesn't have to do with the civil unrest or where they've, um, just had a police and protester hostage exchange mediated by a priest in Arequipa and where they've just decided to buy 100,000 new tear gas grenades and whatnot. So anyway, um, what can I say? Um, thinking about doing an Ask Me Anything live session uh, at some point here. So if that's something that would interest you, please comment and let me know. Um, I think that is uh, pretty much the roundup for today and see you tomorrow. If you'd like to buy me a coffee or keep my team working and bringing you these updates, here are a couple of ways you can do it. Join me on Patreon or give me a tip on PayPal with this code.